Right now, it's November 2021. This is my story of getting to the 750 Formula Grid in 2022. The exact date of the first race hasn't been announced, as the race dates have yet to be negotiated with the circuits by the organising club, the 750 Motor Club. But typically, the motor racing season starts in early March. Let's start with the why. Well, I love racing, and if you're watching this, you probably do too. Here in the UK, we are really fortunate to have a large range of classes and car styles to choose from to satisfy our racing itch. The first question someone asks when they are interested in going racing is, what is the cheapest formula? But to be honest, there are so many cost conscious classes out there that you really can decide what kind of cars you want to race. So why do I want to race in the 750 formula? I have done some karting in my younger years and a lot of karters aspire to race formula cars. In my case, I'm quite tall, so I want to race a formula car that I can fit in and the cost to be competitive is reasonable. I also really want to design my own cars eventually, and the breadth and the scope of the designs within the 750 formula really attract me. What is a 750 formula car? Believe it or not, the 750 formula has been going on a very long time, in fact since 1949, and is rumoured to be the longest continuously running championship in the world, beating Formula 1 by a year. It even has a very popular historic series. What a 750 formula car is, is actually quite difficult to define as the regulations are famously unrestrictive, allowing designers much more freedom than most formula. But the cars must have a passenger space, rear wheel drive, a weight not less than 490 kilograms, including the driver, and use the Control 13 inch Yokohama tyres, use the Fiat Fire 1108 cc engine, and comply with Motorsport UK safety regulations. Ah. And now I've sat down, don't know what I'm going to say, something about racing cars. Um, so I actually started collecting parts and building a racing car um, before the summer, but then something popped up that I'd had my eye on before. So I bought it in the summer and it's laid dormant in a garage in Bicester at a friend's lockup. And um, a couple of weeks ago, Having done all the tasks I need to do so I can start building race cars again, we went over and picked it up and brought it back here. 